All right, a safety and security window film is designed to be so effective, it's on an approved list for the Department of Homeland Security. So the question is, why did it fail so miserably when consumer reporter Steve Noviello was invited out for a demonstration? Turns out the local installer's impressive experience and client list had a few holes. Here's the thing, I love the chance to check out a new or innovative product. I love when you call me up and invite me out to witness something you've just got to see to believe. But if you think for a moment that I'm not going to double check what you tell me, think again. In any storm, if you're here alone, nobody is getting in your house. I wouldn't even be worried in a tornado at all. Megan Fulbright was sure she made a great investment for her home. Nothing's going to come through these windows. The man who sold her on the idea? Johnny Bulletproof. John Berkeley, better known as Johnny Bulletproof, who invited us. I invited you here. And how many times have we moved the date of this shoot to make sure that you were absolutely prepared? Three times. To see firsthand how 3M safety and security window film can keep your family and your home secure. Absorb an impact versus just allowing something to penetrate. The clear window film is meant to make glass more shatter resistant. This is video of 3M's own demonstration of how their safety and security window film is designed to work. It can perform so well that it's even on the approved products list for the Department of Homeland Security. So what <laughs> happened you gotta be me. here? Don't film this. Johnny is an authorized installer trained by 3M, yet even when he tried to quietly convince his crew to ease up on their flying debris demo, Slow down a little bit. the product <laughs> failed. <laughs> the adhesive, which creates the super strong bond, wasn't given enough time to cure. It just peels right off. Technically, we needed about another week of cure time. Actually, 3M recommends a full 30-day cure time, sometimes 45. <clears throat> A detail you'd expect Johnny, who describes himself as an experienced installer, to know. With our purchasing power and the quantity that we're doing now at the federal and government level, we are now able to offer these same products to our residential homeowners at 50 cents on the dollar. During the interview before our disastrous demo, Johnny was confident in his credentials. What kind of federal projects have you done? Uh, we've done VA hospitals and several of the state and government facilities around local law enforcement centers, uh, judicial centers, and other projects like that. We confirmed Johnny's company, Athens Glass, was the subcontractor who installed 3M's safety and security window film on the VA hospital in Memphis. A facility spokesperson tells us the installation work is substantially complete. But the rest of his story is far from <laughs> bulletproof. Johnny credits his company for installing 3M safety and security window film on the VA hospital in Oklahoma City. But according to the engineering department for that facility, that job never happened. Over in the city of Whitney, Johnny says he installed 3M safety and security window film. But when we checked, it turns out that line item was never approved in the budget and the work was never done. By text, Johnny listed the cities of Bedford, DeSoto, Corsicana, and Palestine, in addition to Henderson County. He says all are his 3M safety and security window film customers. But when we asked for a list of specific job sites, nothing. He told us the Federal Privacy Act prevented him from telling us more. Or maybe it could be this. When we called to check each of those city and county specific job sites, we were told, sorry, none of them use 3M security window film. Although most confirm John did complete some other security product installations like bullet resistant glass and paneling. Johnny bulletproof, Johnny wears the proof. <laughs> so next he turned our attention back to the windows he could prove he coded back at Megan Fulbright's house, which turned out to be the only house on which he'd ever installed the product. These windows are reverse glazed. He says the con contractor grade quality of her windows is to blame. The glass was just too thin. Well, that's not true. According to 3M, the quality of the glass doesn't significantly affect the film's performance. 
But again, more texts. Johnny insisting he came to that conclusion after spending two weeks with 3M's research and development team. A 3M spokesperson says they're not aware of any such contact. And remember this claim? With our purchasing power and the quantity that we're doing now. According to 3M, their film is usually ordered on a per project basis, and they can only locate one invoice from John's company. They add his description of how the film can be cured. We have a, a heating and drying system that we can attach to the windows and help them cure quicker. <laughs> how it should be used. We just need to double up our product to double up the efficiency of it. And how it performs. This specific product we've got on here is actually rated up to 150 mile an hour winds. Isn't even accurate. John Berkeley claimed that several government agencies were prepared to file lawsuits against us for trying to confirm his project history. We have yet to hear from any of them. To see for yourself how 3M safety and security window film is designed to work, I have posted the manufacturer's video to our station website. As for Megan Fulbright, at last check, she says the repairs to her home after Johnny's disastrous demo are still not complete. I'm Steve Noviello. That's my two cents. Spend it wisely.